an exclusive music festival near Bangkok. Hipsters dance the hypnotic groove of Thai folk music. Until recently, the sound, known as Mola, was sneered at by wealthy Thais as music for the poor. But that is changing fast. The genre is now winning over the capital's elite and making waves on the world music scene. When I see foreigners dancing in front of the stage, I'm proud that I can make foreigners know the beauty of local people's music. Mo Long traditionally features lyrics about rural life sung over the can, a bamboo mouth organ. The genre went electric in the 1960s and now draws on drum kits and basses. But it's the traditional instruments that are the major crowd pleasers. Really amazing. We got only to the like the last part, but as soon as we got just like two seconds, we started dancing and like the energy is really cool. And I really like the mix of the of the instruments. The embrace of Molam owes much to the Thai DJ Maft Sai, who started playing the country music a decade ago. Most of the people I met in Bangkok during that time, uh, they were they would ask me like, you know, why do you like Molam music? What do you play? Like you know, collecting Molam records, it's like it's poor people music, it's music for taxi driver, or the the sound that I like is like it's a uh, it's music from you know your grandparents' generations. Why are you into this? And for me, it's just basically at the end of the day, the music is when the when the music is good, it speaks for itself. But Mafsai's band is now one of several Molam groups playing on the European festival circuit. While it's still far from mainstream, the music has come a long way from its roots among Thailand's rice fields. And some say the Molam revolution has only just begun.